Hi everyone, this is Dango. In this video, we are going to talk about how to use and how to build Rainy. Uh, the reason that I'm making this video is because the reason of the uh, collaboration with Trails of the Sky is coming back in global server and uh, it is going to come back to other server as well. So basically, making this video trying to help you figure out uh, whether you should summon Rainy or not and uh, what you know what kind of gear you should use for Rini and what kind of scale you need to use. So um, before I talk about how to use, uh, the conclusion for if you should summon Rini or not is that uh, I think Rini is not one of the character that is super super needed. Uh, the other character, uh, Li Yang Hut, at this point is also not a must have character anymore. Uh, there are so many options for the players um, who joined the, the game at this point that you really don't have to use Rainy and Leon but, um, but uh, both characters are still pretty solid. Uh, Rainy uh, is like one of the most uh, heavy debuff uh, characters besides Basel. And also there is going to be another uh, heavy debuff character that is going to be Rain. So uh, Rainy, Rain and Basel does make a very decent debuff box. Um, but besides that, uh, Rini is definitely not a must-have character for both the PvE and PvP purpose. But on the PvE side, Rini makes the um, challenge very easy to deal with, because just because of her special skills uh, that we are going to talk later, and uh, Leon Hut uh, and Rini can still be used in PvP. So I mean, for PvE, Rini is um, is pretty good, pretty strong, but not must-have. For PvP, Rini is okay. Leonhard is still, uh, you know, above average compared to other characters. So yeah, um, I think uh, if you are like completely free to play, you can kind of skip this banner. But if you, you know, if you enjoy Trials of the Sky, the game itself, then maybe you should summon them. Uh, if you are, uh, if you spend some in this game and you want to be super competitive in everywhere. Uh, summoning like a few copy of Rini and Leon Hut still help. So let's just uh, go through how to build and how to use Rini. Um, so let's just uh, talk about the uh, you know the uh, characteristic of Rini. So usually what you usually use for Rini is this Calamity Throw, which is a three cooldown land scale. This is very very strong scale uh, because the range is seven seven blocks. You don't really have that many skills that can have this high, uh, this high land AOE range, and uh, this one deals like 0.3 damage, so the damage is okay uh, as of uh, AOE, and also it uh, uh, it inflicts two random debuff, so this is very very strong. Uh, only a fail uh, AOE scale can apply two random debuff, including uh, like black hole, earthquake, earthquake AOE uh, random debuff is also fixed, so. Yeah, this is really really good, and it works with Rini's talent. Rini's talent is actually stronger than Basel in applying debuff. So, uh, the other skill that you also use for Rini uh, in some time uh, is this DK. DK is very strong against a few of characters. Uh, it is very effective against the juggler. It is also very effective against uh, Yulia. So those characters they really need to rely on the buff they applied. Uh, if you uh, if you have this, um, if you apply DK and they didn't dispel it, then when Juggler to the Beast Shark, the Beast Shark effect cannot be effective. When Yulia use Goddess uh, God Mint, then that skill cannot be effective as well. So DK is a very situationally strong skill, and uh, when you are using DK. You can also um, you can also de uh, uh, affect the enemy with another two random debuff. So even DK only um, you know apply one debuff, which is prevent the enemy from receiving any buff. Uh, you can still apply two other random debuff from Rini's uh, talent. So this becomes a okay AOE scale as well. And uh, the other scale you can use. Um, I definitely I definitely uh, recommend you to awaken Rini. If you are going to use her, because her three cost scale is coming, uh, it's just around the corner, probably waiting another month, then the three cost scale is going to arrive. So, so for so in this case, the uh, in most cases the single target scale in this case uh, is going to use uh, Rainy Annihil uh, Annihilation. 
So this skill is not super super effective in PvP because there are uh, I mean Rini can can affect a lot of debuff to the enemy, but usually you will not uh, ban out enemies and uh, you know uh, healers to remove debuff. So it is very hard to actually use the skill uh, because you cannot stack three more debuff usually that easily. Uh, but it is still very strong if you do stack three more debuff, uh, then that skill is very very strong. Uh, it basically reduces the enemy's magic defense to like a few hundred. So, yeah, that's very very strong. And uh, uh, when the three cost skill for Rini comes, I cannot show the three cost skill for Rini just for now because the I mean the three cost skill is not available in global scale uh, still. But uh, the Rini three cost skill is also very strong. It's a five blocks times three land scale. So it's basically a triple land scale, and it uh, uh, it inflict two debuffs to the enemy. Um, decreasing boss defense and the magic defense, I think, and then you can apply two other random debuffs from Rini, Rini's talent, and then you will push everyone back for one, like push everyone back, uh, one spot backward. So it's a very strong three cost skill. So usually when this three cost skill comes, uh, for Rini you just bring this three cost skill. Calamity throw and then uh, depends on who you are fighting against. For example, if you are fighting any Lancer unit, you bring a uh, free strike. If you are fighting any infantry, you bring fireball. Uh, if you bring, if you have any flyer on that map, uh, on that match, then you use wind blade. So basically, uh, calamity throw, three cost skill, and then any of these uh, single target skill depends on who you are fighting against. So those are the most commonly skills used in PvP. Uh, in PvE, so uh, for the challenges, you will definitely going to use Rainy Annihilation. Um, most of the boss, they still receive debuff. So as long as the target receive debuff and you stack enough debuff them, uh, from them, then you can deal significantly high damage from Rainy. So besides Rainy Annihilation, I usually just recommend you use Calamity Throw and uh, DK here, because both skills have relatively short cooldown. So in a very long stay battle, they can be used over and over again, and uh, they can definitely help you to stack the debuff that is needed for Rainy Annihilation. So this is the skill that I recommend for the PvE content. I don't really think uh, the 3 cut skill is going to help a lot for the PvE content but it is very very strong for the PvP um, content. So then we are going to go through the troops for Rene. Uh, for PvP content, uh, let's talk about PvE first in this case. So for PvE content, uh, um, you probably, the only choice for Rene is going to be Soxorus, just because, uh, I mean Soxorus is such a strong troop. If you want to deal more damage, uh, you are going to use Soxorus. Uh, especially if you are trying to deal damage with Rainy Annihilation, Soxorus is definitely one of the best choice. Uh, in PvP though, uh, you can choose to have the Skeleton Knight. This is one of the tankiest troops in this game. Uh, Rainy with Skeleton Knight can tank a lot of assassins, uh, including Zoraida, including Kihei, and also uh, Shrinka later on. Uh, you know, you can tank that easily. Uh, if you have enough skill on Rini, um, you can also tank Omega. So yeah, so yeah, this is basically the troop for PvP. But if you are not facing any assassins, uh, I do think Soxorus is still going to be the best uh, choice. Uh, if you are trying to tank, uh, for example, something like uh, Net of Mystery, uh, and you don't have any magical guard, uh, Stone Colossus can also be used. Uh, I don't think uh, this is better in tanking assassins because the tag didn't trigger at 4 health spots. So uh, this is about the troop selection, and then let's go to the gears. Uh, for, PV for PvE purpose, I think the best gear for Rainy is Red Moon. Uh, but if you just want to deal higher damage specifically, then you can choose to use uh, either the... Um, yeah, you can choose to use Rain Staff, so that one is basically the best uh, for Rini to deal single target damage. I don't really recommend to use that because uh, you know it doesn't help at all for the 
um, AOE scale, and uh, for running AOE is your big part. Uh, so if you are like trying for a challenge or for like Asian beginning, uh, or you know for some future PVE content, maybe running stuff can still be useful. Otherwise, I just recommend you to use uh, Miracle stuff. Uh, you can also use Red Moon for PvE as well, uh, because Red Moon is kind of a balance between the AoE damage and the single target damage. So Red Moon is not terrible as well. So for PvP purpose then, uh, I think Miracle stuff is going to be the best. Uh, there is no other better uh, selections. So if you don't have Red Moon, uh, Miracle stuff, then you can use Red Moon. Uh, and for the, for the armor, I mean, uh, for Pretty much all the mages, um, you know, except the ones that can use their special gear like Lana. Otherwise, uh, Tana's role is going to be the best for all the mages and healers. Uh, there is almost no exceptions. And uh, yeah, so if you have Tana's role, you just use that on Remy. Uh, it is not going to be wrong. So other than that, if you just want to tank assassins specifically, um, the Death Rope can be useful as well. Yeah, because Death Rope can, you know, reduce the uh, crit chance. Um, so for, you know, if you are, if you have more resource, then you can definitely build some Death Rope when you are fighting some specific players in PvP content. For example, if you are fighting with Lifuzak, uh, if you are fighting with like, uh, uh, you know, other Rush player like uh, Sarah, uh, just uh, using more death rope in your team could be actually better. And uh, the high tier I recommend is actually Tenno's high tier. Uh, I still didn't pull my Tenno's high gear for Reni, but if I do get one, I'm going to replace Tenno's high gear with this Soul Stealer Hydrize here. Uh, Soul Stealer Hydrize is still useful because usually, uh, I mean, the land scale is very long, so you cannot reach the enemy when usually when you are uh, using Calamity Throw. But the other skills that you, when you are using, you may actually have a chance um, for really need to get close enough. Uh, I mean, this is like three blocks, so it is not too bad. So you do have a chance to uh, silence your enemy, and silence is a still a very uh, important debuff. So that is why I think Soul uh, Stealer is also okay. Mm, I don't really have other other high gears to recommend. For the PvE purpose though, uh, this Charon is going to be very very good. So for the PvE purpose, you can use Charon. Uh, and uh, if you just want to tank assassins, this Terra can be used as well. So this is just an extra 15% defense and magic defense at 100 points health points. So for the accessories, uh, I think for both PvE and PvP, Dimensional Jewelry is probably the best for Reni. This is just because the 30% chance to reduce cooldown by 1. Uh, Reni's cooldown skill, I mean skill cooldown is okay, but uh, you know 3 turn uh, minus 1 turn is going to be like 2 turns cooldown, then the AoE is really really good. Uh, you are also using Clock on Reni. Uh, I don't think of any other enchant that is working on Rini. Basically, you have to use Cloud. So some players are arguing with Breeze, uh, either for PvP and for PvE. I don't think Breeze is going to uh, is going to be good for Rini. Uh, it doesn't really matter that much because you have enough um, distance for Rini's land scale. So yeah, Breeze doesn't matter. Uh, Cloud is really the way to go. Uh, I don't have any other enchant recommendations. So Dimensional Jewelry can work with the clock to reduce the cooldown of the scale, just in case, you know, if clock didn't trigger and you trigger Dimensional Jewelry, uh, it's still pretty good. And uh, the other accessory I recommend for Rini, uh, I mean, Dimensional Jewelry is probably the only one that you would use for PvE content. If you really, really don't have dimensional jewelry, uh, then other like accessories that can aid 8% uh, in here should be useful. Yeah. And uh, then if you are, uh, yeah, if you are like playing PvP here, 
the other accessory that you can use also include the SR win uh, because that can give you immunity to fix damage. Uh, if you know your player likes to take this tail, if you know they have uh, assassins, then uh, SR win here, this meditation win here, uh, is going to be very very helpful. And also the other accessory, uh, if you have bracer, you can use that on the knee as well. I don't think a bracer is going to be better in meditation win. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, you can still use that. Some players uh, they think uh, you know, uh, usually bracer is a better choice than meditation win. Uh, and uh, some players actually assumed I used uh, the uh, bracer in some of my PvP as well. Uh, I actually never used that. Uh, I still think meditation win is the way to go. You don't need that extra defense from the bracer usually to tank an assassin. Because when you are tanking assassin, the troop uh, is taking the most important part. So make sure you have high troop training because otherwise these skeletons may not be tanky enough. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much everything about Rene. Um, Rene's ranking, the power ranking is very very competitive. Uh, there are a lot of, uh, you know, players who have very high power Rene. Uh, like this one, although, yeah, he don't really use Rene. But yeah, they have very crazy high Rene. If you want to be high in the leaderboard, uh, you should definitely use the uh, Demon class of Rene. Uh, Demon class is not really good because in PvE content, you know, you still have a lot of holy to deal with. In PvP, then there is uh, there is Yulia, there is uh, Yusuke, there is going to be Lolly Battle in the future. There is going to be the uh, Maya in the future. There is also going to be Valar. So uh, Rene is very bad against those holy units. This is why I don't really recommend uh, Demon Rene. But if you want to get higher power, Demon Rene is the way to go. You get a lot more health points, you get a lot more defense, and uh, you also get some uh, a little bit higher intelligence here. And uh, yeah, and also if you want to be high in the leaderboard, you should focus on health points. This is a ton of health points here on Rene, so this is why this Rene is very high in the power. My Rene is actually pretty sucks, I'm only rank 15 here. Uh, one of the reasons is because, you know, I don't really have the many resources to uh, my characters. Yeah, I rest the plenty characters to have fun, so I don't uh, just focus on specific, like, one of them. This is why I'm not having enough power, but yeah. Uh, if you want to go higher in the leaderboard, uh, use the demon class, uh, stack a little bit more health points should be very helpful. So yeah, this is pretty much everything about Rennie again. I think Rennie is an okay character to use um, in both PvE and PvP. In PvE, she is especially strong against the fighting high health point boss like uh, Asian Bacon. Uh, you can uh, effectively use um, Rennie Annihilation in that case, so that is very good. Uh, in PvP, she fits in a debuff box. If you have other characters in your box like Bazo, uh, Future in the Future, Rian, uh, and uh, like Ritual, uh, you know those kind those kind of thing that can apply a ton of debuff, then that is going to make a very strong team for Rennie. But uh, she doesn't really fit in a single target box. If you are heavily relying on kill juggler, or you know just doing a single target thing, then Rennie is not very good for you. Overall, I think Rennie is an okay character to have, probably in the lower end of the mid tier, but um, definitely not one of the uh, essential character uh, that is must have. So yeah, again, my recommendations for free to play players is to still skip Rennie uh, if you, uh, unless if you really just love Rennie. Um, yeah, but for other like whales or um, you know players who really care about PvP. Summon one copy, uh, you know, to save for the future, or you know, just to summon a couple so that you can have a good start. Um, is still recommended. So that's all about this video. Um, uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm going to make the video for the new banner for Detroit and uh, Archham soon. 
Uh, so yeah, see you guys in my new videos. Peace.